It's time for another blistering report from the front lines of the cultural war for a constitutional America. And now, here's your host, Charles Benninghoff. Hello. Confirmation hearings for President-elect Donald Trump's cabinet members are about to get underway, and the Democrats are frothing at the mouth. The most contentious hearings promise to be the ones for Attorney General nominee Jeff Sessions, the pro-America senator from Alabama who was an early and vocal supporter of Trump. Democrats have absolutely lost their minds over this, and several have already been arrested because of their anti-Sessions antics. The Democrats and the media are spreading some of the most vicious smears imaginable about Jeff Sessions. And in a truly disturbing development, Conservative Review reports that the chairman of the Senate Judiciary Committee, Chuck Grassley, has agreed to allow Democrats to set up their own separate witch hunting panel to grill Sessions on his civil rights record. So today, I want to tell you the truth about Senator Jeff Sessions' record, and I'll let you know how you can speak out and demand a yes vote on the, one of the most important cabinet picks for Trump this year. First, let's take a look at the sheer lunacy that the Democrats are spewing. Here's a clip from a political ad that the Democrat groups are running right now, which is produced to look like a, guess what, public service announcement. They're really good at that because the government pays for them. Well, take a look. Jeff Sessions is one of the scariest possibilities that I was afraid of. Jeff Sessions wants to ramp up a drug war that costs us $50 billion a year, and yet most Americans believe that it's failed. He is, uh, I believe, a disgrace to the Justice Department, and he should withdraw his nomination and resign his position. Jeff Sessions is simply unfit. If you believe in fairness, if you believe in due process, if you believe in our Constitution, you must join me in the fight to stop Sessions. According to the Democrats and the media, Jeff Sessions is a lifelong racist who will destroy civil rights and the Constitution. But ask yourself this question. If Jeff Sessions is a racist, then why did he put so much effort into prosecuting the Ku Klux Klan when he was a U.S. attorney for Alabama? I think we found a sore spot for the Democrat Party. They're really worried about this issue. The Democrats and the media do not want you to know this information that I'm about to share with you, and here it goes. If you look this up on Wikipedia, Jeff Sessions' prosecutorial successes against the KKK have been erased from the article about the Ku Klux Klan head in Alabama. Back in the 1980s, Jeff Sessions successfully prosecuted the leader of the KKK in Alabama, who is a staunch Democrat named Henry Francis Hayes. Henry Francis Hayes, a lifelong Democrat, kidnapped and murdered a black teenage boy. Hayes became the first member of the KKK to receive the death penalty in the United States in the 20th century, when the Democrat was fried in the electric chair. <laughs> that was a fitting end. After the prosecution of this Democrat, the victim's mother brought out a successful civil case against the KKK that financially broke the back of the KKK. In fact, the KKK was bankrupted in Alabama because of Senator Jeff Sessions' efforts, along with the mother of the, the deceased victim. Jeff Sessions did terrible damage to the KKK, and that is the real reason why the Democrats are now trying to destroy his nomination to be the U.S. Attorney General. You may ask yourself, why am I linking the KKK to the Democrat Party? Well, the answer is because the KKK, the Ku Klux Klan, was founded, it was nurtured, and it was promoted by Democrats. Think of it this way. Al-Qaeda and the Islamic State are the militant wings of the Muslim Brotherhood. The guys in the Muslim Brotherhood will put on a suit and tie if they have to, and they'll go to a meeting with the politicians in Washington, D.C. But they still believe the same thing as Al-Qaeda and ISIS, and they're just as dangerous. The KKK is the militant wing of the Democrat Party, and has been so since the days of Reconstruction, after the Civil War when the slave-owning Confederates, all of whom were Democrats, were defeated. That's why the KKK donated 20,000 bucks to Hillary Clinton's campaign last year, and a Grand Dragon leader of the KKK officially endorsed her last August, according to the Washington Times. 
Now, let's talk about that special witch hunting panel that the Judiciary Committee wants for Jeff Sessions. Conservative Review spoke to the staff members of the Judiciary Committee who agreed to be quoted anonymously. They tell the Conservative Review that Chairman Chuck Grassley has agreed to the Democrats' demands to set up a special civil rights side panel that will grill Sessions on his civil rights record. I'm guessing they won't bring up any questions about the KKK, though, because that would not fit their narrative. It's outrageous that Grassley would cave in to the minority Democrats. And it's outrageous that a nominee would be subjected to a kangaroo-style hearing like this. When Democrats controlled the Senate a few years ago, they never allowed Republicans to set up side panels for Obama's nominees. Why is Grassley doing that now? You have to ask yourself that question. A little bit later on, maybe I'll have an answer for you. Now, for a comparison, here's a clip of former Attorney General Eric Holder talking about your civil right to own a firearm under the Second Amendment. Take a look. Uh, I've also asked the school board to make a part of every day some kind of anti-violence, anti-gun message. Every day, every school, at every level. One thing that I think is clear with young people and with adults as well is that we just have to be repetitive about this. It's not enough to simply have a, a catchy ad on a Monday and then only do it every Monday. We need to do this every day of the week and just really brainwash people into thinking about guns in a vastly different way. Eric Holder believed that every child in America should be brainwashed every single day in order to undermine the Second Amendment. Did the Democrats who controlled the Senate at the time allow the Republicans and the NRA to set up a special civil rights panel to ask further questions of Eric Holder? Of course not. Democrats only allow witch hunts against Republican nominees like Jeff Sessions. There should be no special side panel for the Sessions confirmation hearing. I'm sure you agree to that. You just have to ask yourself what dirt the Democrats have on Grassley to be able to corner him into such an anti-Trump maneuver. This is what happens in D.C. The Democrats tail, wiretap, and spy on all Republican. Over a period of years, the dirt layers build up, and finally, it seems that every Republican can be compromised and forced to turn against America in treasonous, traitorous ways such as this. I hope Grassley will absolutely fight back. But you need to tell him to do so. You know, the Senate already has two full days of questioning ahead for him which is more than enough time for the American people in the Senate to make up its mind. But if we don't speak out, the Democrats will be allowed to carry out this show trial and witch hunt and defeat the Sessions nomination. I'm fighting back against this, and I hope you will too. Please, listen to Bob Mallory in the next scene. He'll tell you how to get to our action page today and tell the Senate that you want Jeff Sessions to be the next Attorney General of the United States. Bob Mallory will give you these instructions and explain to you how to do it. This is Charles Benninghoff signing off, wishing you freedom, fulfillment, and God's many blessings. Tell the Senate that you demand a yes vote on the confirmation of Jeff Sessions to be America's next Attorney General. If you're on our action page on our website, use the form next to the video screen to select a program. If you're watching this on YouTube or Facebook, click the icon appearing now to find the link to our action page, or check the video's description to find the link. Speak out today.